Hi, I'm Terry Baricius. I was uh, one of the first progressives elected to the state legislature in Vermont. Uh, Tom Smith and I were elected back in 1990, started our term in 1991, served five uh, consecutive terms as a state legislator. Uh, when we were first there, I got to say, we were, we were, the challenge was overwhelming in that uh, the Democrats were in control by that point, and they really didn't want to listen to us at all. But there were a lot of things that they, issues that they were just ignoring, uh, and we kept raising them year after year. Single payer universal health care, and they basically didn't want to deal with it. There was issues like the minimum wage, which year after year we pointed out that it was not being raised and inflation was taking effect so that the real minimum wage was going down and down and down for decades, since 1970s, basically. And they would have nothing. They would not budge on it. Sit with continued pressure, eventually, now we're talking you know, 20 years later, 30 years later, the, there has been increases in the minimum wage, but the battle to get the legislature to even acknowledge the problem was, was really challenging. There were also issues, for example, that the income tax was structured so that it was, it's piggybacked onto the federal income tax. And then under Reagan and subsequent um, presidents, um, they cut the top income tax on the federal level, which cut the state income tax for rich people. So we, you know, we prepare these charts showing that the income tax for the highest earning people in Vermont was going down and down and down, while the, the total tax burden for working people and for lower income people, because that includes things like sales tax and property taxes and uh, taxes through their rents and so on, was going up. And again, we had this struggle where the Democrats and the Republicans in the legislature basically just wanted to let it ride. They just wanted to let it go the way it was. Um, and there were times when it got to the point where it was just so egregious. At one point, there was a budget shortfall. And the governor at that time was Howard Dean, uh, said, well, the legislature's out of session. We have a budget shortfall. So he sequestered certain funds. He was allowed as executive to say, we're not going to spend money on these certain programs. But rather than taking programs that were not working or things that wouldn't hurt people, one of the programs he proposed to cut was the aid to aged, blind, and disabled. Vermont had a program specifically for that group. And there was no constitutional allowance for him to do that. He just said, I'm going to do it. This was a weak group that did not have a powerful lobby, and he thought he could get away with it. We, the progressives, Tom Smith and I and others, uh, we got a couple of Democrats to join us, actually sponsored an impeachment resolution against Howard Dean for his unconstitutional cutting of aid to aged, blind, and disabled. Uh, ultimately, that was resolved, but uh, it's, the, it's the nature of the beast that the establish, establishment status quo uh, and the politicians that got in power through the establishment status quo just didn't want to tackle certain kinds of issues. And if, with, if it weren't for the progressives in the legislature, those issues would probably still be sitting on the back burner.